Uh, here I am with the uh, steering lock switch on the 370Z. You'll notice, if you look at some other pictures, these two buttons right here are we get pushed in um, on the steering lock to signal that it's unlocked and ready to lock, start the car. Um, inside here, you'll see this gear and uh, basically what happens is these, this spot right here and this spot right here is what makes contact with the two turquoise switches. So as this gear spins, the thing doesn't actually rotate. It uh, it pulls itself down and away from the switches and stays in the same position, and then goes all the way out. And you notice now the lock is out. And if I spin it the other way, this thing comes out, and the lock is in. Now if you first pull this thing apart and this thing is locked, which you'll notice right here, if it goes out of, once it goes out of the way, it locks in place, right? And I can't spin this back the other direction. So the reason is up here you've got a spring inside this thing. So basically if you just take a small screwdriver and uh, poke it inside here, you can pull away this locking mechanism that is preventing this thing from going in there. Sorry, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. Once you get it, the thing falls in. Notice the thing's completely in there now. And, uh, sink completely in. You can spin it freely again. So, that's how you get it back in the unlock position. Uh, once you've got that <clears throat> unlocked from that little spring thing. So, you could basically just rotate this back into the downward position, pushing down those two buttons and reassemble it and that's pretty much all you would need to do to maintain it in a lock state. And you'll notice this motor right here uh, is just on these two little posts and you can just pull it right off and uh, I think that probably is about the exact same thing as uh, cutting that brown wire or uh, pulling the fuse but uh, I haven't tested it yet, so don't quote me on that.